First thing off, I want to welcome back my subscribers and my non-subscribers, please subscribe because I'm telling you, you're gonna to want to see part two of this because we're not gonna be able to cover all this in part one. So, as I start off every video, if this is not an adventure video, I'm telling you right now, this is not an adventure video. It's not. But you're gonna learn how to do this for free. And there's no gimmicks, there's no joke, it's real. I'm going to Cabo for free, hotel, all-inclusive, free flight, one of the few times I do it all in the same trip for the next adventure that I'm gonna plan for this channel. If you wanna know how you can do the same thing, you're gonna to have to stay tuned. critical to understand that sometimes we travel places and we don't really plan it we just kind of end up there because it just that's where the numbers work out for so before planning flights to me it's critical you know how to maximize the value of your points for an airline so there's two ways to do flights you can do it via the airline points or you can do it via credit card uh, awards and all that stuff. In the, I'm doing it two ways. In this trip to Kabul, we're doing using it two ways. We're gonna actually use United, and we're actually gonna go through American Express. I'm gonna show you both of them, but I want you to understand where it started. So all I said was uh, Mexico. Actually, I, I probably said South America. South America. Uh, so that's what I searched. And we just put some random dates in here. It really doesn't matter. Uh, the, the prices are pretty much the same. But, so I was borderline going to Lima. We were about to. I mean, you kind of see what's in your range, right? So you can kind of see, well, some of this stuff's going to be kind of expensive. We ended up settling on... Uh, the Baja region. I almost went to La Paz, almost, but like I said, we sit on Cabo. So you click on Cabo, boom. So you got Spirit over here, you got United. Non stop flight, $509, which is actually cheaper than what I just paid. Um, but we're starting to enter into that hurricane season, so I, I'm assuming this region is going to be more impacted by that as we keep this going on but um <clears throat> this is where we this was my starting point so it's like right now you know the airlines you should be shopping with so for me it's united so let's go into united i do want to touch on this a little bit um upgrades if you have a status if you have a credit card or if you have all these other things depending on the airline you choose and like i said Everybody's different. Everybody's focus different. Everybody's region's different. There's a different airline for different people to travel different places. So this will vary. But the concept is very intact across the board. So if your airline has a program, you definitely want to join it no matter what. Uh, you need to get the points. If they have a credit card, and you know you're going to be flying them frequently and you think you're going to accrue more points via that route, then you probably should get a credit card associated with that airline brand. It just makes the most sense. Um, and as you can see, once you make more of these tiers, you're going to you know, move up the line and the perks will benefit you. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just a regular. I, I don't have any of these perks. I'm just a member. So I'm the regular guy. Uh, my card actually allows me to get free baggage and it allows me to get on the plane via class two, which is basically one class after first class. Uh, not a lot of big benefits. I mean, granted, yes, you have more advantage to putting a, a overhead bag in, but not a big deal. So, so just to just kind of cover, let's say, 
this like I said, every, every each person's different, right? But um, I'm using United. Uh, we're going to Cabo, whatever. We'll pick some. Yep, that's right. Boom. Let's put some dates in that are realistic for our travel, which is this next coming week. And boom, boom. That's good. It's not flexible. I don't want to flex, but we do want to make sure we have. <sighs> I didn't see it up here. Oh, this is already a word flight. So book an award flight, right? So we're good. Boom. Find flights. See what happens. Okay, so we're looking at let's say we early late riser. Say we picked the later flight. And let's say we want to get back to work right this is what we're looking at guys we're looking at roughly 37 100 thousand points unfortunately because international travel does have a fee associated due to gas and fuelage uh, costs we would have to pay a hundred and six dollars if if we did this route so this route is if you basically want to use your airline points, fly for free, and go somewhere. Um, the key here is how do you get those points? And I, I'll touch on this real quick. So let's say you go to chase.com. Let's say your focus is airlines, right? Uh, you want to, we want to go travel cards boom and you actually want to go down to united cards you could pay for two flights for two people to uh cabo essentially almost just about you're close um almost and get a free and get free flights and all you had to do was nothing you just apply for the card you spent you did the bonus and blah 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 we'll cover all this stuff more in detail later on in uh, part three actually but that's the airline story oh let me switch over let's go to American Express okay so now we're looking at the American Express side so I kind of showed you a, a brief look of how you do it via airlines flying that the same airline and using the, maybe the airline credit card for your travel and you accumulating points this is the way I'm doing I'm, I'm using a, a mixture of both right so I do do American Express. Um, I have some mixed opinions. I'll talk about it in a later video. But um, for instance, we are going from Denver to um, San Lucas, right? Let's go ahead and search this. I'm going to use points. I got a lot of points. There's a lot of ways to make points in American Express cards. Uh, you could do the platinum card, you could do the gold card. There's a lot of bonus point opportunities. We'll cover it in part three. I'm not going to get into it, but I just want you guys to know in this particular case, we are focused on United. So I'm just going to click United here. And like I said, we're on that 1130 flight, right? So boom, we select that. And then we're going to go ahead and select. We want to get home as fast as possible, right? <clears throat> so let's just say we selected these guys. So, so now we've got a situation where we got a total cost of membership rewards call up points which is 66,000 this is essentially equating guys to six hundred and sixty four dollars and ninety eight cents now if you remember we had to pay some fees on the last one so while we did use United points we still had to pay out of pocket on American Express I don't have to pay anything I can just use my points and be done with it and we can go to register pretty much check out I mean if that's what would I want to do but just for example this is this is the American Express way of doing it and granted for this trip I used both so I used the United version where I spent 37 100 points and I used this one where I actually bought this exact not this exact times but we bought a ticket that cost the same pretty much the same price as far as points cost so 
that's two different ways to use your airline points. Like I said, there's a lot of different airlines, people. Um, you have to decide what is the airline that you want to use, what's the airline that fits your best use case. Um, those are little pieces you got to put together. But once you build this package and you know all that information, you're going to be in good shape.